Hey everyone, it's your girl Shauna J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite fragrances to wear throughout the winter months. This is usually when I really love to wear fragrances. I don't know why, but I appreciate my fragrances much more throughout the cooler months. I don't know why. I, I really don't. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. Let's get started. Okay, so... The first one that I'm going to show you is actually the most inexpensive one on my list. But trust me, uh, that means nothing because I absolutely love this scent. It is called Design and it's by Paul Sebastian. I really love this scent. I mean, I was introduced um, to this scent while in Perfumania. The sales associate was trying to get me to purchase this one. But at that point in my life, I just couldn't appreciate a scent like this. I mean, I was nowhere near um, the, the person I was today. I mean, I would have never worn a scent like this. But fast forward a couple of years, I smelled this on someone else and absolutely fell in love with the timeless scent of it. I really do love this scent. I mean, a little bit goes a long way. And, you know, I read reviews where people say that, you know, it strangles them. Of course, it's going to strangle you if you do this. I mean, when I'm putting on this one, I put literally two half sprays, not even a full blast, like half sprays behind my hair or behind my ears. And usually that does the trick because what you do is that you get just a little glimpse of this, of the, um, the scent every now and then. I think it smells better that way. What I get the most from this scent is tuberose. So I get a lot of tuberose. Um, there's a little bit of sweetness to it. So it's like a warm, sweet, floral so I, um i think what's responsible for that is the honeysuckle so the the dominant notes i get from this one is actually the carnation the tuberose and the honeysuckle there um i mean when it dries down it gets a little more woodsy smelling not extremely woodsy or anything like that but i mean there's sandalwood in there so it lends it a little bit of you know like warmth and i really do appreciate this scent man like i really do like it but wear it in smaller dose i mean you will not regret it if you do that you overspray that one and yes you're gonna regret it okay so Another scent that I love to wear throughout the winter months, and I know this one is going to come as a shock to you guys because it's not a winter scent because it's not sweet or warm or woodsy or anything like that. It's actually like a clean, fresh scent, and it is Glow by JLo. Y'all going to get sick of this scent, but it is what it is. If I'm being honest, this is a scent that I wear all the time. This is my, what, six, seven, eight bottle? I mean, I've been wearing this scent for years, and that's because I love the simplicity of this scent. It smells like freshly washed, washed skin. Imagine what you smell like when um, you take a shower with Dove soap, the pink one. I mean, that's what it smells like to me. This is like, um, it, this one has orange blossom, it has jasmine, it has rose. Um, of course, you know, this one is pretty musky. It is so beautiful. And every time I wear this one, I always get asked what I'm wearing. And I think the beauty, the what, what makes this scent um, really nice is that it smells different on different people. But to me, the magic in this one is to just give it like two sprays, two sprays or three, nothing more. And half sprays. Don't go, you know, clip heavy. Don't give it like full sprays. Just a little bit behind the ears and put one between, you know, the boob area. I mean, to me, this is when it smells amazing. When I hear people complaining about this one that it's too strong or it's just, um, it strangles them or it's overpowering, that tells me that you're over spraying the scent. I mean, to me, the best thing to do when you're going to test the scent is to smell the nozzle. If the smell coming from the nozzle is pretty strong, I mean... That's usually the first hint that it's, it's a strong scent and you should go easy on the trigger. You know what I mean? So this one, if you want to smell clean and soapy, if you, you know, you don't want to have something that smells fussy or make you feel miserable or overpowered, try this one. I absolutely love it. There's, there's probably not a lot of lists that I do that does not include Glow by JLo. I would say that's my favorite scent in the world. Okay, that one and Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. I love this scent. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to show you is one that's a little new to my collection and I've been really enjoying it. I got it when it was a little warmer, but I kind of like put it back in my closet to sit down for um, times like this one when it's colder outside. And this one is called White. I'm sorry if it's going to 
it's bright but it's called white and it is by michael kors so this one is pretty much a flanker to the original um michael kors scent and you know what guys it does smell similar to the original i do not like that one i actually don't have it in my collection never had it the first encounter i have with, had i had with the original michael kors was actually my mom i bought it for her because she actually loves that scent and i think it goes well with her like you know for her age she's in her 50s and stuff like that it's a very serious scent I'm not a serious person and I don't like fragrances that smell too serious or too grown up. Um, so I never liked the original. It was okay to me, but I never felt like owning it. But this one, guys, to me is amazing. This one, um, like I said, it has the it has the same tuberose note, but this one has like green notes. Like that makes it so freaking interesting. So it smells a little, I would say, vegetal. Is that the, the word that I want to use? I don't know, but it smells really relaxing. The green notes in this one smells really, really relaxing. And that's something that, I mean, I just love about this one. And it's a little soapy and you guys know how I feel about soap. It's woodsy, it's musky. It's everything that you would ever want in a scent. I, and I only paid 20 bucks for this one. Really, really nice scent. I love this one so much. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to show you guys is one that I call my rich bitch scent. This is my rich bitch scent. It's called Body and it's by Burberry. I freaking love this one. This to me, I think is the most serious scent on my list. It's the girl that is wearing this is like boss bitch. You know what I mean? Um, she's wearing a trench coat. You know, she's wearing pumps. Um, she's wearing leather gloves. I mean, she's just, you know. She, she's just a strong woman. So this one is all about woods, um, rose, musk. It's a little bit powdery. It's extremely, extremely sexy. It's clean, but it's warm at the same time. It's so long lasting. And this is another one where no need to like go heavy on the trigger. Like none of that. Because if you do that, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to choke. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, but if you do that, you're going to regret it like a couple of sprays just to get a little walk every now and then. This scent is freaking amazing. And I'm telling you, I was on the train once sitting next to a guy and he asked me what I was wearing. Now, you know, that's when, you know, shit is going right when you're sitting next to a stranger and, you know, especially if it's a guy that turns around and asks you what you're wearing. And it wasn't like he was trying to flirt or anything like that. I didn't get that from him. I think he was just curious to know what the hell I was wearing. And it was this scent. Very powerful. This is what I would call luxury in a bottle. Oh, I keep getting these messages on my phone. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, this is what I would call luxury in a bottle. Very luxurious smelling scent. I mean, love. Okay, so another scent that is pretty much new to my collection and this is not a winter scent per se it's not a winter scent it's actually a summer spring scent and this one is called untold or fresh and this one is from elizabeth arden and um i kind of like thought up thought twice about adding this one to this list but this is one of those scents that i think like it goes so well in the winter months it kind of reminds me of chanel um or fresh there's chance chance of fresh it's <coughs> excuse me it kind of smells that way to me, but not exactly. To me, this one um, is more relaxing because it has that green tea note. So imagine what the, you know, green tea by um, Arden, it smells like that. But then she just added some woods and she added some musk. And it to me, it smells amazing. Oh, just smelling it from the nozzle, it smells super expensive. It smells relaxing, a little earthy. Um, it's just like a bomb scent and it smells rich. It smells expensive and I just really really like this scent uh, The only thing I remember about this scent the reason why I don't wear it as often is because um, I feel as though it does not last that long You know what I mean? You have to walk with this bottle and you may have to give yourself a couple of sprays throughout the day But regardless guys, it smells amazing and if you want to smell expensive and clean and fresh um, with a little touch of, you know, earthiness. I mean, this one is perfect. Okay, so, um, one that, uh, this one that I'm going to show you is from, um, the Pleasures line. So it's, uh, what do you call that? It's, it's called, um, 
what do you call this one? Pleasures Intense. So this is the this is a flanker to the original Pleasures. And um this one I kind of like, I don't know. Okay. So I have a time when I like this one and I have a time when I don't like this one. And I'm going to tell you why. But it's a gorgeous scent and I know a lot of people love this one. I love the original Pleasures. I really, really do. It's a very floral scent. So this is what I love about this scent. I love the floral notes in this scent. The lilies, the rose, I mean, the green notes. I It smells clean. Oh, it smells purple. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. But the lilies in this scent drive me crazy. If you love lilies, you will absolutely love this one. The only thing about this one that I sometimes don't like, and I'm not sure like, why I can't just get with it, is the base notes. So the base notes get a little bit sweet. So you're mixing fresh flowers with sweets. And I'm not too keen on that. I'm not sure why. But it's still a very beautiful scent. So, um... At first, when you spray this out, you get the clean, you know, flowers, the white flowers, the lilies, the green lilies, the rose, and, you know, all that good stuff. But then when it dries down, you get the Starex, you get the vanilla, you get the maple. I mean, what is maple doing in this sense? You know what I mean? Um, you get the, the woody notes. So a part of me, I don't really care for the dry down, but this is what I've done to let this set work on me. And that's the other thing, like... Let scents work for you. I mean, if you spray it on your skin and you realize that you don't like it on your skin, try it on your clothing. And this is what I do with this scent. This is what I do with Pleasures Intense. Instead of spray it on my skin where it dries down pretty fast and gets to the bottom notes pretty fast, what I do is I spray it on my sweater. So in the winter time, if I'm wearing like a sweater, I spray it on my sweater. And I only wear this if I'm going to wear like a sweater. I don't know why. Um, and I spray it on my clothing. And what happens is the top and mid notes, they stay around the floor notes. It sticks around much longer. And it takes, sometimes the bottom notes just does not even show up when I do that. So sometimes that's what you have to do. Play around with your fragrances. Um, sometimes, you know, you may smell a scent on someone. And you're like, why doesn't it smell that way in me? But you don't know the placement of that person's scent. Maybe they spray it in their hair. Maybe they spray it on their sweater. So it's going to smell different depending on the placement of your spray. You know what I mean? Okay. So another scent that I love to wear throughout the winter months. And this one always makes a lot of my list too because I really love it. This one is called um, Low Daisy by Izumiyaki. And this one is the EDT. They have the EDP version, but I do prefer the EDT because I think there's more floral. It's more floral. Um, and I, you know, you guys know how much I love my floral scents. But um, yeah, so this one... <sighs> There's so much going on with this scent, but it's so well put together. Like, it's not a messy scent. Like, it's not all over the place, but there's so much going on. And there's just layers to this scent that I absolutely love. This is a scent, though, I would say, you know, you love it or you hate it. And this is another one where you have to be strategic with how you spray this one. Less is more. Do not put this one on clothes. Put this one on your skin. I'm telling you, it smells better on your skin. So, to me... Um, this one is very floral, so it's a white floral. Um, there's a lot of green notes in this one. Um, it's very aquatic, extremely salty. So if you don't like salty fragrances, you're not going to like this one. It's a little woodsy. It's musky. So it is everything in a freaking bottle. The the projection on this one is amazing. I mean, the, the way this one performs is, is like, I can't even tell you guys how well this one performs. It's right next to Glow by JLo. You have to shower these off. And when you spray them in between your boob area, oh my God, the smell that comes up to your nose amazing i love the scent i'll always love the scent i'm running a little low but now that it, i mean now that it's a winter time i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go through this it smells so amazing okay so um another one that's very new to my collection and i know i'm gonna enjoy this one now that it's cooler i've already started to wear it is fleur musk and this one is by Narso, narciso rodriguez and this one is a flanker to the original um Narciso Rodriguez for her. So we all know that this scent is a musky scent, but this one to me, um, I never liked any of the other flankers. I know everybody has their own um, flanker that they like. This happens to be the flanker for me because I think it's the most floral. So I think the musk kind of takes a back seat and this, the flowers, I guess, hence the word fleur in the name of the scent. I mean, it, it's come, it comes to the forefront. I really do appreciate the floral notes in this one. This one is all about um, 
pink flower i think they say that there's pink flowers but i don't really get that pretty pink type of scent what i get is like a green scent i keep saying that and i can't be the only one that is smelling green it's like a scent you could touch it's like a very earthy earth toned i see green and brown when i smell this scent and um on um, i've checked a lot of websites that mention that it has patchouli and some mention that you know some doesn't mention that it has patchouli in the notes i smell patchouli it makes sense when i saw patchouli i was like yeah of course it's patchouli in the scent because i get a lot of the ambery the amber woods and the patchouli the floral notes i do get but i think the strong the ones that has the strongest personality in the scent the notes that has the strongest personality is actually the earthy tones the patchouli the woods you know um i smell that amber i mean it smells clean though like the the patchouli is a clean you know like it's a clean patchouli and i really do it's not it's earthy but it's clean at the same time y'all y'all gotta smell this for yourselves and i mean and tell me what y'all think but yeah i really do like this scent and this is another one spray it moderately like yo don't go crazy with this one i remember when i first smelled this one a girl next to me that works by my that worked by my job she wore this one oh i'm hot i'm getting too excited but anyway <laughs> so um so when i smelled this one what i was smelling was hints of the scent and i was glad she didn't over spray because it could be a little much she strategically sprayed this one. I knew that because I could smell it every now and then when the breeze would blow or something like that. I would smell her scent. And I mean, it's just a gorgeous scent. Like I said, it's, it tantalizes your senses and it makes you just, you're captivated and you don't, you want to know what it is. And this to me, it smells expensive. Like forget it, which it is. <laughs> Okay, so um, I believe I only have one more scent on my list. It's not a new release or anything like that, but it's one that I love to wear throughout the winter months, and it is to, called 212, and this one is the classic. I know a lot of people would think for me to put 212 Sexy on this list because that was more of a warm, vanilla, musky, green scent, but I actually prefer to wear this one in the winter months. Anyway, so it's one of those scents that smells really serious. I can't even imagine anyone wearing this out of the office. It's such an office scent. Like, I see a woman, like, dressed in, like, a white button-down shirt, you know, black skirt, black pumps. I mean, she's she's probably, probably the most paid, like, the highest paid person in the office. Like, I see this one. It smells so good. Oh, my God. It smells so good. It smells a little metallic. Um, you know, it smells floral. I could smell the white floors, but there, this one has this kind of strange personality um, where it just, it makes you think of a woman, a woman with power. You know what I mean? It's a hard scent. Believe me, it's a hard scent to describe because it's not, it's not something you smell every single day. It's just like a really nice, unique, expensive, white floral, but it's a little like, you know, metallic. I know that sounds weird, but trust me, it's good. Anyway, guys, so that's it for me. Let me know what fragrances you're wearing now that is cooler outside. I mean, let you know I like to know because I take when I go to my comments, I'm taking notes and I want to know. You guys see me do that all the time. I'm always in my comment section. You know what I mean? But anyway, let me know what you guys are wearing. Let me know what you think about my list. And let me know if it's, if you think it's weird to be um fond of winter fragrances that are clean and fresh woodsy musky rather than the sweet intense in your face kind of scents because what i find with those kind of scents they're cool but i work in an office you know what i mean and i have to be mindful of what i wear around people i mean the you know the pink sugars and all that thing you know those are good you know um but I work in an office and usually that's where I wear mo most of my fragrances. So when I'm buying a perfume, I think about if it's going to go with my outfits, if it's going to go with my environment, if it's going to, you know, be something that's acceptable to wear in the office, you know, if it's not going to bother people, all that stuff. So yeah. So, okay guys. So that's it for me. I am burning up. It's hot in my house. Anyway guys, so that's it for me. Um, yeah. So leave a comment, like this video. Bye.